fiction doesn't drift so far from reality. We see scenarios in movies all the time that could very well occur in real life. I think I could say that the majority of us have seen the movie Toy Story. The story of toys who, when alone, are brought to life. Now I got a question for you. When you were younger, did you ever get the strange sensation that your toys or particular toy was more than just a simple toy? That you could actually sense it being vivid than what it was supposed to be? At times, we believe that the unexplainable noises that we hear from our homes is product of misplacing things. That is why today I will be presenting to you guys the spine-chilling case of Israel Escalante. Israel Escalante is a young man who has a loving family. As of recently, him and his loved ones have started to realize that something is extremely wrong in their home. Israel took to Facebook to share the following. Strange noises have been heard in my house, but for some time now, the toys have been turning on. Maybe some spirit plays with my kids' toys. Turn up the volume. Days ago, that same toy said a phrase we had never heard. Level 3, let's send the message. Little truckers, a walker toy, noises, doors opening by itself, so many things. Sleep easy and don't let Chucky pull your feet, haha. As his wife was sleeping and he was watching the TV, he began to hear the toys turning on. I would recommend you put the volume all the way up. The toys could be faintly heard coming from a different room. The following day, he took to Facebook once again to share more about what has been going on in his home, and even asked everyone to watch the next embedded video because it would show everyone who has been asking questions more of a clear answer to what is going on. Really, really watch it. Something paranormal or whatever you want to call it. And it's not a joke, really, it's not a joke, it did scare me. If you know anything I can do, tell me. Se escucha como que ese muchacho anda jugando con algo por acá. Y vamos a averiguar. Esa puerta de allá está cerrada porque también ahí se escuchan medio cosas medio extrañas. Y aquí recientemente es donde los juguetes se han prendido, aquí. ¿Mm? Este es el cuarto de juguetes de, de los chamacos Ahí disculpen el tiradero <risa> Pero de repente se escuchan ¡Qué ole! ¿Eh? Eso no es algo preparado, ¿eh? De repente se escuchan así cosillas medio extrañas Ese pianillo es el que se empezó a aprender oh, ¡No manches! ¿Eh? <risa> no te pases de lanza ¿Quién está aquí? ¿Quién eres? ¿Eh? ¿Quién eres? Oh, te pases de lanza, se está moviendo ese... Ese caballo, hijo. Se está moviendo el, el caco. Se está moviendo el caco, pa. ¿Si ¿Sí vieron que se movió el caco? ¿Quién eres? ¿Eh? Se está moviendo ese caco, hijo. No manches, pa. ¿Eh? 
No me gusta los... Mato <risa> para acá que me da miedo. ¿Eh? Ya no se movió. Pero no es el aire ni nada, muchachos, porque acá esta pues, ventana de aquí está cerrada. Entonces, pues no, no creo que sea nada del aire. ¿Eh? Mira, se está moviendo. <risa> no manches, tú. ¿Quién eres? ¿Eh? ¿Quién eres? No, 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 vente, vente, vente. Israel was so nervous that he did not want his little one getting near the toys. The little piano turned on by itself and the horse was clearly rocking. And how Israel said it, it would be impossible for it to be the air because the window was shut. This is where we ask ourselves if the activity has just begun or has it been going on for some time now. This is quickly answered by Israel himself as he explains the history of what he has experienced throughout his life. The laughing is due to my nervousness. Here's a little bit of why I decided to start recording. My wife, Carla, is a witness and another witness is my friend and brother, Jorge Alberham. He also witnessed things here in the house. Curse or luck, I was able to record it. I don't know. The evidence is there. In the video, we come to find out that there is indeed history of strange occurrences in that very house. Israel explained that about three years ago, when he arrived to the house, he would from time to time hear some strange noises, but his mom and grandma were quick enough to spray holy water throughout the house, which in fact did work because after that, he no longer heard noises for a long time. It was not until his wife decided to move in with him when he began to hear noises again. But then they went away, and now again have returned. After explaining, he decided to hand over the phone to his wife so she could describe what she has experienced. Yes. Yes. Eh, estaba yo aquí sentada y vi el, el cuarto donde grabó él el video hey. el caballo donde han estado pasando casi todos los sucesos se empezó a abrir pues lentamente bueno ese fue uno y no le tomé importancia dije bueno pues puedo pasar el aire lo que sea pues ya ve que uno nos hace nos hacemos ideas para pues para no tener miedo precisamente eh, ayer que fue cuando él grabó videos en la madrugada todo, toda la noche yo creo o en ratos en la madrugada se escuchaba el mismo juguete y pues, pues me despertó el ruido de los juguetes Pero lo que me di cuenta Que me dio un poco de miedo Fue que mi hijo se estaba carcajeando Mi bebé tiene un año, 10 meses Entonces estaba carcajeando Y pues yo me asusté Porque pues él no es de estarse riendo en la madrugada solo verdad Y pues ya nada más lo abracé Y me, me quedé dormida con él En otra ocasión como Una hora después, no sé la verdad pues Como era de noche, pues estábamos dormidos mi bebé se quedó sentado y se quedó como llorando, no sé, pues lo volví a abrazar y nos volvimos a quedar dormidos. Y esos fueron los sucesos que a mí me pasaron, eh, pero pues a él le pasaron cosas un poquito más. Because of what his wife explained, Israel believes that maybe the spirits could be targeting the kids more since it is said that children are more prone to being able to sense or see paranormal entities. He goes on to explain how one night when his wife was going to the store to buy something, his son followed her up to the front door crying, and as he passed the playroom, a quick shh could be heard from in there. Right when it happened, the child stopped crying and backed up slowly without losing sight of the playroom, and when Israel asked him where it came from, the boy pointed to the playroom. Israel gives more context on why he began to film in the playroom and where the horse was rocking. He said that prior to recording, he kept hearing his son repeat, leave and no. With this being shared, it does seem like the focal point of the entity or entities is the child.
More than a month goes by where Israel does not have any new activity to share. At least, it wasn't until one day while at work, he realized that maybe the entity has somehow followed him to his workplace. Strange things happen. With the security camera, we could capture something that probably isn't something too strong, but it is a little evidence of the events that have happened. Not just in the house, in the business, and not just to me. There are several people who have come to experience strange things. Amigos, acabamos de ser testigos de lo que puede ser otro suceso paranormal. Esa camarita de allá arriba es la que alcanzó a grabar lo que acaba de suceder con esa caquita registradora. Esta caquita registradora, si tú le pegas o le jalas, pues no se abre. Únicamente se abre con esta llavecita si haces esto. O mandándole la indicación de cobro desde la parte de arriba con la computadora. Si tú le jalas por aquí. Si tú le quieres jalar aquí. Mira. Se viene. Entonces no hay manera de que se abra. Por eso se llaman cajas de seguridad. Porque no hay manera de que se abran. En el video se alcanza a ver cómo mi esposa queda sorprendida cuando le da el fregadazo. Y mi prima Mariela también acaba de ser testigo. Y a ella también le han pasado cosas extrañas aquí. His cousin explains that what she has experienced so far has been the pans moving on their own and one time something came flying out of nowhere. She states that it only happens when she is alone. This is where things start to get a little odd. It's not just happening to, you know, him and his household. Now it's happening at work. And not only there, he mentions that when he was doing Uber, strange things would also occur. This all seems to indicate that the entity has attached themselves to his family. Everyone, keep a close eye out on the next video as it might be a little difficult to spot when exactly the register opens. Mira, porque aquí no hay nada, ahí en medio no hay nada. O sea, entre tu cuerpo y la casa. ¿Y no se alcanza a ver la caja, la llovecita si se gira? No. No, no se alcanza a ver. No, ya será mucho. Y como que está manchada la cámara. Fernando dice saludos de Chile, saludos de Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo? No manches. No manches. Pero se abre sola y la, o sea, la computadora está apagada. It was a little difficult to see because the camera did seem to have a little stain that distorted the image just a little. But the register clearly did open on its own. And in the video, the wife was clearly startled by the register flinging open like that. This was the last update Israel has given us and judging by what he has shown, it seems like the entity isn't so harmful for now. Just because the activity has been pretty harmless does not mean they won't be a serious problem in the future. The fact that the activity seems to be following him wherever he goes is pretty alarming. As of now, the paranormal entities that have been surrounding his home and work have not shown themselves, but this could change pretty fast. Something makes me think that maybe the entity that he has been dealing with has been attached to him for a long time now even maybe from his childhood. But it's too early on to tell. All we could do at this point is wait and see what happens next. This is the end of the video. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed and want to see part two. Don't forget to subscribe with post notifications so you are notified when I post an update to your favorite stories. Remember guys, I appreciate every one of you. Guys, remember that always. I will see you guys in the next video.